What up and welcome back to the Dirty Lounge, everyone. With you as always, I am your host, the Dirty Saiyan. If you haven't already, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit that notification bell and choose all to be alerted to future content on the channel. Every interaction greatly helps the channel and is always appreciated, guys. We went over 200 subs yesterday, but then today I woke up and it's down 10 subs, so either YouTube is acting up or someone played a prank with all some alt accounts or whatever, maybe. Who knows? Either way, we, we don't let that deter us, and as always, we keep moving and grinding as if it's just another day. Aside from that, I did also want to point out that I am part of an amazing group of content creators in Tenkaichi HQ. And if you are looking for some more dope content for Dragon Ball Legends specifically, uh, go take a look at the uh, channel and sub to it. Uh, the link is in the description, and our team uploads daily videos for all things Dragon Ball Legends related, including summons, unit analysis, news, discussions, and much more. Um, alrighty, Dirty Crew. Today I am going to be going over all this talk about a new movie for Dragon Ball Super, which is now officially stated to be released sometime in 2022. Uh, I've seen uh, Toei retweet some stuff and Dragon Ball Legends and Dokkan, so it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that this is legit at this point. Um, I did wait for just that specific reason. I did want to make a video on this yesterday, but I'm glad I didn't and I waited it out. But enough of all that. Let's roll into that intro, get into some movie news, and let's go. Welcome back, guys. So what do I think this new movie is going to be? Who would the villain be uh, for it? And uh, I'll cover all that and go into some quick theory crafting and whatnot. Uh, so I believe this movie is going to have Cooler as the main antagonist. I mostly think this because they appear to be making the more popular, older Dragon Ball Z movie characters into canon characters for DBS and moving forward, much like with the new take on Broly and his new design and everything. Now, to explain a bit of what I'd like to see from this movie, let's go back to the, uh, to the OG Cooler movie for DBZ. Now, remember... Uh, that throughout all of Frieza's exploits and interactions in Dragon Ball Z with Goku, and to a lesser extent even with Vegeta, it's basically stated that Cooler had been keeping tabs on everything about his little brother as he was spying on Frieza due to his intense hate for him, and likely more than a little jealousy. Um, Frieza was obviously daddy's little girl, while Cooler was the disappointment of King Cold, or so it would seem anyways, given that King Cold clearly seemed to prefer Frieza and you know have him by his side all the time. So Cooler was spying on Frieza, just waiting for the chance to catch his brother effing up or, you know, so he could swoop in and show his brother and rectify his mistakes, you know, show him up a little bit. Uh, we can be pretty sure due to the calculating and conniving nature of Cooler, this would be his preferred way of doing things, in my opinion, because he would much rather one up his brother and humiliate him than to just outright kill him. So the bottom line is he was watching his brother all that time, right? So let's take this idea a step even further. Um, and he had been spying on Frieza after Cooler found out about Frieza's resurrection as well. So he has now seen Frieza's golden form, uh, let's imagine, and that Cooler has roughly the same battle potential that Frieza does. So Cooler has trained to not only attain his final form, that we got to see in the OG Dragon Ball Z movie, but he's also attained a similar form to Frieza's golden form on top of that, making him ridiculously powerful. Um, so he has, he also hasn't made the same mistake uh, of just attaining these new forms because he's learned from Frieza by watching him uh, instead of just rushing off into battle like Frieza did against Goku and Vegeta, but he instead has perfected both his final form and his new golden form. Uh, only let's just say he doesn't like gold because he doesn't want to be like Frieza, so maybe he's got like a platinum form or something like that just to one-up his little bro a little bit, you know what I mean? Uh, sounds reasonable, right? So that's where the story is supposed to start, in my mind. Uh, Cooler is the jealous older brother, and he just watched Frieza fail once again in his schemes of trying to use Broly to defeat our Saiyan heroes. Now Cooler wants to go to Earth himself and use his newfound power to destroy the Saiyans one by one and show up Frieza. Um, and then since he knows about the Gogeta fusion, he would probably rather not chance fighting that being since he doubts he could win such a fight, seeing how powerful they were. 
Um, but he goes after Vegeta on Earth at the beginning of the movie while Goku is away who knows where, uh, probably Vampa. Uh, but Cooler gets to Earth and his minions start fighting the Z fighters like what normally happens. You get Gohan and Piccolo, Krillin, Tien, maybe Yamcha, whatever, uh, fighting with the underlings while Cooler confronts Vegeta. Or Cooler con- <laughs> confronts Vegeta. Uh, so Cooler starts off in his final form much the way um, it looks in the start of the uh, the original Dragon Ball Z movie. And Vegeta has to go Super Saiyan just to keep up with him, let's say. Now, Cooler goes into his into his final form and gains, gains the advantage once again. So Vegeta goes God form and they fight, but he's not doing enough damage. So he goes Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Finally starts to land some meaningful hits, it seems. And after a bit of fighting, Cooler kind of dusts himself off and goes platinum form and beats the ever-living crap out of Vegeta to the point where Goku senses Vegeta losing badly from wherever he is, let's say Vampa, um, while he's teaching Broly some stuff. And he uses instant transmission right next to, to get right next to Vegeta. So let's just say having just enough time to catch a glimpse of who's causing all the commotion he sees that Cooler is actually about to throw a supernova attack and it's going to kill Vegeta um, and likely everybody else on the planet, including destroying the planet. So Goku, unable to uh, Goku, unable to stop the supernova in time, grabs Vegeta and instant transmissions them back to Vampa. And Goku is instantly pissed as he realizes that Cooler's supernova attack just destroyed Earth the split second after he teleported away. So Vegeta having had his ass handed to him, tells Goku that it was cooler, Frieza's rarely seen older brother brother who did this, and then he passes out. <clears throat> now let's say Goku teleports or instant transmissions Vegeta and himself to Namek real quick, you know, the new Namek, uh, to have him healed since Dende is now gone and they don't really have another healer um, with the earth being exploded. Now Vegeta then has the, uh, once he's healed up, has a plan for them to train with Broly, and bring Broly up to speed with themselves to help them defeat Cooler, uh, as Vegeta reveals that Cooler was way stronger than himself, even as Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, and that Cooler was just toying with him. He even, he knew that Cooler was just toying with him at that point. Even the supernova that destroyed the Earth was just playing around for Cooler, barely a speck of his full power. Now, as much as Vegeta hates to admit it, he doesn't think any of them are ready to fight Cooler at their current levels, and he would rather not have to resort to a fusion except as a last resort. So, yada, 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 training montage with all three Saiyans and Sus, uh, including Broly. And finally, they get to the point where they think they're ready after some months of training, leaving Broly behind on Vampa now um, for a part of their battle plan. Goku and Vegeta use their training from their respective time on Yardrat and focus in on Cooler's key signature from across the galaxy or whatever. They go to the planet where Cooler has just got done destroying the inhabitants um, of a planet that he had been planning to use as his own as a base of uh, a new base of operations, much like the way Frieza has or did have the planet Frieza back in the Dragon Ball Z show. Now, I have the ending thought out for how I would want all this to come to conclusion, but I will leave that part to you and your own imagination, guys. Comment how you'd want to see this scenario end in the comment section below. And that's it for this video, guys. Stay safe, have a great week, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.